here in Philadelphia. No doubt he would be out on the ice as part of the starting lineup for Elaine Vigneault's club. He's lined up on the left wing. The puck has dropped, and we are underway here at Wells Fargo Center. Hayes leads it on for Sanheim. The defenseman kicks it to the wall for Farabee. Finds a trailer. Sorokin holds his ground on a great look for Hayes. Far belongs to Kevin Hayes. When we talked about Sanheim jumping in, he jumps right in. That creates that seam for Kevin Hayes. And what a response with a left pad from Ilya Sorokin. Time and space for Kevin Hayes. He just doesn't elevate it enough. But He's 20 games away from 1,000 in the NHL. As Pelic weaved in, and it set up a shot. From Michael Dow Cole and Brian Elliott. How about a save for his first test of the game as well? Chance for Michael Dow Cole. Again, defenseman getting aggressive and jumping in. And you see the Flyers converge on Pellet. And that creates the opportunity for Michael Dow Cole. And a nice response. Brendan, you talked about it by Brian Elliott, right? There. Andy Green couldn't control that one. And a break here for Philadelphia. Van Riemsdyk over for Sandheim. Save Sorokin. And the puck stuck underneath his right leg pad. No question about it. Now, this is off a mini two-on-one. Sanheim jumping in. The right pad. Van Riemsdyk for Haig. Haig with a shot. Knocked down in front. Pinballs around. Letty kept it away, but it came right to Van Riemsdyk. Thrown back on goal. Sorokin. A couple of saves. Another chance for Sanheim. It's around Beauvillier. Sanheim leaves it off. Scott Lawton to Haig with a shot that was tipped by Mayfield. Sorokin coming up big for New York. Piece of that as well, and there's Sorokin coming up with a great save against Travis Konechny. Jake Voracek steps in. Voracek all the way over, cut off by Eberle, handed off for Barzell, two on one. Barzell and Eberle. Matt Barzell, deflected shot as Provorov got a piece of it. This was one of the better chances for the Islanders. Yeah, we talked about Provorov. Namely, Piero Greco, got to be real happy with what's gone on. And I'm not going to forget our good friend Mitch Korn, nope. by the way. I just don't want to get him in trouble with Mr. Lamorello. <laughs> Box comes to Zekas. He'll skate into this, and Beauvillier will join him. Zekas with Beauvillier. Wade shoots and squeaked through Elliott, but missed the net back on the other side. Elliott dives out to cover up. He was letting him know. Borchek gets it on goal, then a strong stick battle. Look at Beauvillier. He knows Zekas is coming out of the box, so that engages a two-on-one against Provorov. Provorov taking away the pass. Good read by Sezikis. When the pass is taken away, get to the net. And some bad luck for Sezikis and some really good luck for Moose Elliott right there. Off the right pad and through the wickets. is a trademark staple of the great Brian Prop. Off the draw, Barzell turning, driving to the net. Barzell with a shot, produced a rebound in the backhand drive from Eberle, denied by Elliott. Head man for Hayes. Hayes across the high slot. Still with it, and a little room thrown in front for Allison, and Sorokin stopped it with the leg pad and was able to keep it from crossing the line, and then had to be strong in close. Thirty-five seconds to go in the period. Headman pass for Barzell. Has Nelson, got it to him. Nelson shot, glove save, Elliott. You're going to see the long stretch pass by Andy Green through the middle of the ice. Matt Barzell attacks with speed, a little cross and drop with Brock Nelson through the legs right there of Justin Braun, and it's ripped out of the air by the Philadelphia Flyers. So his superiors must be very happy with his performance. 17th overall pick back in 2014, now in his fifth NHL season. Dell on the half wall, minute five left on the power play. Moved out high for Letty. Letty with a shot. Tip save. Rebound stop by Elliott as Nelson got a secondary chance in tight. Combination of things. It's not just the goaltending that a lot of people are speculating on. Here's a steal and Couturier shorthanded. Cutting in. Saves Sorokin and he dives on the loose puck. Tried to keep it moving. But the New York Islanders have been terrible all game long. Jordan Eberle soft on the puck. Leads to a turnover by Couturier. And he gets a quality chance on goal. Comes in down the wall and kicks it behind for Nelson. You know that guy number eight for Washington? <laughs> Heard of him. He's pretty good on the power play. There's Letty with a shot that's off the left leg of Elliott. Letty back down. Martin bounced off for Sezikis and a right leg pad save by Brian Elliott. Real good play by the honors. What a response by Elliott. Elliott says, don't forget about me. Big time stop on Sezikis here in the third.
Pellick skates into this one. Carries into the flyer zone. Adam Pellick with a shot. Rebound came to Paul Mary. Floated back to the net and played down by Elliott. Ryan shoots it off the shin pads and right there. I think the puck was kind of rolling on him. So he really couldn't get a lot of good wood on it right there. Yeah, you could see it just jumped. As Everly moves it over for Barzell. And Barzell looking for a way in over for Jordan. Everly with a step to the outside of the backhand saved by Elliott. Barzell picks up the rebound. Out high for Green. Green winds and shoots. A glove save from Elliott. That's a good one. Jordan Everly on the backhand gets it to the net. And then they keep the play alive. Goes back to Andy. Take that little step in. Now, it's not really complicated because there's not a lot of traffic. But the thing I like is no rebounder. He's at the top of the crease. 11 5 here in the third. They're 28 24 in the game. Here's Van Riemsdyk. Thrown to the net. Sorokin had it knocked down. Still alive with Green down. Popped out. Sandheim with a big blast. And it's blocked out of play. The big wind up. And Riemsdyk just throws that rolling puck on goal. Andy Green collides with his goaltender. And here comes Sandheim with the big blast. And it gets blocked up and over the goal. Right there. He'll come around, cut him off. Here's Pajot with four. Sezik is going to the net. Pajot, two, one, on net. And Elliott punches this one off to the corner. And Elliott and Sorokin put up zeros through 60 minutes tonight in Philadelphia. Two regulation losses and eight overtime losses. At one point, he had a 14-game point streak against the Islanders that spanned four different teams. Here's Claude Giroux off the faceoff. It'll just throw it back Elliott's direction. Four straight have gone to overtime. Including tonight as Sorokin makes the stop on Provorov as he danced his way in tight. What a nice play with Voracek and Provorov right there. Throwing it off for Nelson and driving to the goal. Brock Nelson, nothing there, so he'll cut back. Move his way to the slot. Nelson with a burst of speed. The backhand oh. saved by Elliott, and he hangs on. Like a right there, that little pick by Pellick opens up a backhand opportunity. 14th overtime game this season for the Flyers. They are 5-2 and two in sudden death as Letty cuts in. One and Everly, they oh. score! <laughs> Nick Letty off the stick of Travis Sandheim, and the Islanders win it 1-0 in overtime. You see, the Islanders are going to make a change there. That's Pajot coming on the ice. And watch Letty. He's, there comes Pellick. Watch Letty jump on. And he kind of gets lost in coverage right there. Too much time and space. He can really get to the net. Throw it there. And then Sandheim just chips it by his own goalie. So it's an own goal for the winner. But what a game by Brian Elliott. An even better game by Ilya Sorokin. And the Islanders steal this one, Brendan, from the Philadelphia Flyers. The 28th shot of the game for the Islanders that finally goes in, and it wasn't even the last to touch it off an Islander stick. Letty off Sandheim and through Brian Elliott. And the Islanders pick up the two points to reach 60 on the season.